Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. This is the continuity of my first three from scratch video series. In today's video, we are going to start from step four, add compute manager. And I will also configure the step five as well in the same video, the configuration of cluster virtual IP. So let's jump into our environment. Is my NSXT manager in order to add a compute manager as add compute manager as part of step four? Just click on system, extend this right click, and click on compute manager. What it will do is it will and this NSX environment has to be an NSX TV center Compute Manager vCenter was successfully created. It will take some time. Once it is added, then yeah, so it is registered and up. So now you can see if you click on node under host transport node, click here, here you can see the vCenter. If you did not add compute manager here, you will not be able to see the nodes here. So as you can see and the management and compute our physical nodes are added here. So our next step is to configure the virtual IP. So that you can configure if you click on system then appliances let me have a look what is my virtual IP for that we need to again go back to our subnets information okay FOC NSXT VIP would be the name and the IP would be 10.218 Click on set virtual IP. Virtual IP address in order to verify it, just do NS lookup FOC. Added a record in DNS. Is this host name and this is the IP address. Make sure you are able to resolve the name, otherwise it will not work. So once it is configured and added, currently I am accessing this recent NSX manager from this URL. FOC NSXT 01. Once it is done, I will use the same URL, same host name to access my NSX manager. So, in actual deployment, you will have more than one NSX manager, whatever will be the primary, the VIP will route your traffic to that active NSX manager. In in this environment, as I have only one NSX manager, so this will be my primary. So 
So as you can see, the virtual IP is assigned here now. So let me access it through the virtual IP now. And also go directly from this dashboard instead of clicking on NS system then appliances just directly click on appliances and you would see here. So if you wanted to configure another NSX manager just click on add NSX appliances and you will be able to add another NSX manager from the same dashboard. So this is this is the end of our step 5. In next video I will create an IP pool for our host step and edge step. So stay tuned, keep watching, see you in next video.